Warning, Say It is a rated M podcast and is not suitable for all ages. This series contains foul language and sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. I would say good morning, but to be honest, I barely slept last night. I had so many thoughts rushing through my head. I can't seem to stop thinking about him. Run. I was getting ready for school and I saw him again outside of my window. He was leaving. Maybe if I hurry, I can catch up to him. I rushed downstairs and out the door before my dad could even say anything to me. Sorry, dad. Gonna have to skip that breakfast. I caught up to Ren before he could cross over the street. Ren, hey. Ah. So... About last night... Maxine, can you stop? None of this is your business. What didn't you get last night? Just... Just leave me be. Ren... Am I wasting my time? Is he really telling the truth of how he feels? Should I really back off? So many questions, and I don't know how to answer any of them. I just wanted my best friend back. On my way to school, I couldn't help but think of her. The things I've said to her. But I need to stay away from her. Ren! Hey! Hey, Bear. You look more pissed off than you normally do. Ah, uh, don't mention it. <laughs> Alright, I won't say anything else. Barack and I have been best buddies since freshman year. He's been there for me, and it's nice to have a friend again. Thankfully, we share the same class together. And speaking of class... It just so happens Maxine's in it as well. I didn't realize how many classes we had together this year. But there she is, sitting with her best friend Maya, as always. Good morning, class. I know I'm not your usual teacher for this class, but there was an accident, and so I'm filling in in the meantime. So let's get started. We are going to start off with something easy and personal. I want to get to know you as my student, so for this project, you will need a partner. And no, you don't get to pick who. I've gone ahead and assigned each person with a partner. If you look on the board, here you will find your partner. You've got to be kidding me. Is there a problem, Mr. Meyer? N no, sorry, sir. All right. Open up those books and turn to page 46. Once class was over, the rest of the students were leaving the room. I was hesitant to talk to my partner. My anxiety was through the roof. So like usual, I went to my locker and contemplated on what I should say to them. And so... My partner leaned up against the locker next to mine. <sighs> Unfortunately, the wall decided to ruin my life and partner me up with you. Yep, that's right. My partner was, of course, Ren Meyer. Wow, sorry to have ruined your life. I'll be showing up at your house tonight, so we just get this thing over with. My house? Uh, why mine? Can't we just do it here, at the school? Students aren't allowed here after dark, Dumbo. 
Well... See you tonight. Oh, he aggravates me. But I can't help but still have these feelings for him. How is it that you got stuck with Mr. Ice and I got stuck with Tarzan over here? Tarzan? Yes. Why are you questioning the Tarzan part? I highly doubt Oliver is anything like Tarzan. Okay, forget the Tarzan thing. My point is, I can't even describe what Oliver is. He's a human being? That's what he is? Yeah. Maybe from, like, Mars. Maya. What? It's no wonder the aliens didn't want him. They dropped him to Earth to ruin my day. You barely even know him. Exactly. I wanted it to stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> After having lunch with Maxine, I had to get ready for practice. On my way to the music room, I saw Alex and Jane having a conversation. It seemed kind of heated. Now, I'm not proud, but I kind of eavesdropped. Uh, can't we just put this in the past? It's been years. Just let it go. I'm sick of being harassed and bullied by you. Ugh, bullied? Harassed? Is that really what you think this is? Yes, in fact, I do. <laughs> I don't see it like that. Well, that's exactly what you're doing to me. For some stupid reason. You know what you stole from me. People aren't property, Jane. Maybe you should learn that. Uh, you... Uh, Maya, hi. What's going on here? It, it's, it's not what it looks like. Really? Because it looks like you're bullying Alex. If it's not that, then can you please explain? I... I was just... I'm out of here. I'll deal with you tomorrow. Maya... I don't want to talk about it, Maya. Okay, look. You don't have to talk about anything. But if you ever do, here. It's my phone number. Call or text any time, okay? Th thanks I guess. I'm also sorry about Jane. I won't make excuses for her because what she's doing is wrong. I'll make sure to talk to her, okay? I'd really appreciate that, actually. Thank you. Of course. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Wow, your room hasn't changed, like, at all. Yeah. Gosh, this is so awkward. He's the only boy that's ever been in my room. And for some reason, I felt embarrassed, wondering if my room was too kiddish. I do have stuffed animals and pink sheets that I've had since I was a kid. I would have gotten new ones, but they remind me of my mom. Hey, Max. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, Ren. I didn't know we had guests over, Maxine. It's uh, good to see you, son. How have you been? I've been all, all right. It's good to see you, sir. <laughs> Dad, can you, like, go? We're trying to work on our project for school. Really? To me, it just looks like a very awkward conversation going nowhere. Uh, and just sitting there, not even looking each other in the eyes. Dude. What? I'm just telling you what I'm observing. Just go, please. I'll be back with snacks. Please don't. I'm not hungry. What if Ren is? Uh... uh... I'm fine. Thank you, sir. <sighs> all right. I'll leave you two alone. No funny business, all right. <laughs> I I'm sorry. For what? For my dad. 
Don't worry about it. I missed your dad. You did? I mean, can we just start with this project already? What are we supposed to be doing anyway? It's supposed to be basically writing about our partner, what we like most about them, and what we know about the other person. Okay. Ren didn't even hesitate. He just took his pen and started writing in his notebook. Aren't you gonna ask me anything? <laughs> I already know everything. What do you mean? It's been years. You haven't changed, Maxine. Your room is still the same, your style is the exact same, your hair hasn't changed, and your personality is still, well, you. And I'm pretty certain your likes and dislikes haven't changed much either. He made me feel like I was still a child. But I know he wasn't wrong either. What if some things did change? <laughs> okay. Like what? Um... Hmm... I'm not obsessed with that stuffed animal anymore. Stuffed animal? Uh... The one I gave you? Yeah, I don't sleep with it anymore like I used to. But anyway, let's continue. As I was starting to write the things I know about Ren, I caught a glimpse of him looking at the stuffed bear he had given me that was just sitting on a shelf. Maybe it bothered him. A sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I do. You're the one who doesn't. Then why are you laughing? Because I'm the funny one, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. You keep telling yourself that. Well, I told you to stop watching that damn TV. I'm the one who has to work all day and take care of you two. Stop yelling at me. I just want to watch something before bed. You've been watching that TV all night. Go to bed now. Ollie, that's out of control again. <sighs> I'll deal with it. Um, Sam, just go ahead and get ready for bed, all right? My, um, if you'll excuse me for just a moment, just, uh, just stay here. Ollie? He's just a kid! How much have you been drinking? That's none of your business! Yes, it is. You're always coming home from work and drinking. You're always yelling at me or Sam for dumb shit, and I'm tired of it. You need to watch your damn mouth. You do not speak to me that way, boy. I am your father. Then act like one! I was scared for Oliver. I didn't listen to him. I eavesdropped on their conversation and sat on the top of the steps where they couldn't see me. Oliver then came up the stairs and saw me. We locked eyes and I could tell he was furious, but also was on the verge of crying. <sighs> Come on. I couldn't tell if he was mad at me or not. We headed back into his bedroom and sat on his bed. Um, are you okay? No, I, I'm sorry. Um, you should probably go before it gets worse. Isn't it already bad? Please, that was nothing. This is just how it starts. What? Oliver, you- Let's just end it here, okay? I really don't want to talk about it. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just text you tonight with more details for the project since we didn't get to finish. Uh, sh sure. I hated leaving Oliver in this state. It just didn't feel right. But I didn't want to pry. Before I went out the front door, I got a glimpse of their father. 
He was passed out on the couch holding a beer, while he already finished off three other bottles just left on the table. While I was walking home, I got stopped. Wait. Huh? Do you, do you want me to walk you home? It's, uh, late, and who knows what kind of people are out there. I'm okay, really. I'm tougher than I look. I I, I don't doubt that at all. I, I just... Hey, take care of Sam, okay? You don't need to worry about me. I always worry. You're sweet. Just, uh, text me when you get home, okay? Yes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Max and I were working all night on our project. We'd both fallen asleep. When I woke up, she'd fallen asleep on her arm, with her book open. I glanced at the page she was writing on, and she'd just drawn some doodles on it. She mauled Maxine. I was going to just leave, but it didn't feel right just leaving her like this. So I picked her up and carried her to the bed. Good night, Maxie. I climbed out of her window onto the roof and headed home. for much longer. He's leaving. Why? I'm so, so tired. Why? And... do, no matter how hard I try, I can't change him back. Thanks for watching the Say It Podcast. More episodes coming soon.